Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Review is back for another episode today. Peanut's out here. Don't know where her bathing suit bottoms went, but she's rocking underwear. Cool. Um, I don't know. Hi, bottoms are inside. They're inside, okay. Well, apparently they're inside, guys. Oh gosh, these bags are friendly. Okay, well there you go. Let's uh, start it out. Today we are doing the Epic Bags Warrior. And it's got a very friendly carpet. As you can see, um, full disclosure, these were sent to me for the purpose of this review. So I did not purchase them. Uh, but that will not sway my review. As you know, regardless of what I review, honesty is the absolute most important thing to me about these things. So, Peanut, over here. Come on. Um, so you see I'm not really rocking the brace anymore. Probably should, but I'm not sick of it. Um, wrist is getting better, so cool uh let's get into it though price uh, i believe these are 65 dollars new um i'm 100 percent sure where to get them i looked online and i saw a couple different sites that carried them i don't know if there's a epic facebook or something like that that you could uh directly talk to but zach sent me these so i don't know if he takes orders directly or if it's the website and stuff. I, i'm not 100 percent sure i do apologize for lack of information there but uh i've been been sitting on these for a while needed to do the review on them so uh, the break-in method. What I did with these, because I got a little lazy, um, and that was pretty much just because the wrist. Um, I did a quick wash cycle with a little bit of downy wrinkle guard, normal amount of detergent, and did just like a quick wash, and then I threw them in the dryer for an hour, hour and a half, something like that, and they came out really nice. I've just been throwing them since. I really like how they feel. No residue, no nothing sticky, nothing slimy, nothing like that, and they, they actually feel really nice. So that break-in method worked very well. Uh, speeds. We have a four on the slow and a seven on the fast. For me, it's more of a five on the slow, seven on the fast, but that's also partially because my boards play a little quicker typically, um, but they don't really, okay, they don't really stop and stick a whole lot. You got to loft them a pretty decent amount to actually get them to block, so uh, they're really nice though. The The whole friendly carpet is, is sweet. I like that a lot. So three F's. We got fill, feel, and flop. Fill it's like a smaller to medium sized circular fill. I don't hate it because you know the materials are a little thicker, so you don't feel it all the time. If it was a thinner material bag, I would not like it. Is what it is. Uh, the feel of it, they feel really nice. The carpet's soft. Um, it's a good material. The fast side, you know how I like that seven fast side. I'm a huge, huge fan of that seven speed range and just the way the material feels. Uh, the corners are nice, edges are nice, seams are good, closing stitch is good. Everything's pretty good there. And the flop. They're fairly floppy. I mean, they're not wild, though. Um, and I don't know if they will get wild, but they're... I mean, that's pretty floppy for carpet. Hey, yeah, but... Can I take a wrap out? Okay. She's just eating her cereal. Living her best life, you know. Uh, playability. Put it over there, please. We're going to go blocks, pushes, cuts, flops, rolls. Whatever you're able to do with a bag, this bag is going to do it. Um, I can't. It's going to be a block push bag for me. Slow the around and drop in, if possible. But um, it could definitely flop, cut, roll, do all that fancy stuff if you are able to do it as well. So uh, let's throw them. Let's get into it. Beautiful day. Um, we got like mid 80s. Humidity is fairly low, 40 ish percent. Uh, boards have been sitting outside for about an hour, so they're nice and warm and a little bit slick. So I do like to say that because these. These bags tend to slide pretty good on my boards. Um, also, the template's a little smaller on these, which I kind of like. And this design is pretty sweet. I like this design quite a bit. They have a couple different designs from what I've seen. Um, they like the warrior with like a tomahawk axe and stuff. This one's got the skull with like guns and the, the ammo behind it and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool too. Okay. Um, so I quite like it. Uh, the design is sweet. The way they play are sweet. So. Let's get into it. Slow side here, miss the board. Perfect start. It's like that first bag after I finish talking is just the one I struggle with. So you guys want to see something really, really funny here? I'm going to try to roll over this. It's going to be hilarious. I don't do this. I try to settle the beads, which I don't do. Huh? Okay, scoot over there, please. Settle the beads a little bit, do a little butterfly grip, which you know how to do. And then just kind of try to wing it. I don't know. It doesn't work. It actually almost worked. That was actually a pretty good effort for what I can do. But I'm just going to slow side push this. Try to get it in. I missed it though. It's capable. Um, in tournament play, you know, I'm obviously going to go fast side there and just 
push through. I uh, actually laid a very good block after I told you that I struggle laying blocks with these bags, but this is what it is, you know? I like to eat my words on video, so I tell you one thing and then I do the exact opposite, and uh, it's just the way it works sometimes. So let's stick with the slow side here. Get up. Actually did get up, I was surprised. Nice little push and replace. Can I do it again? No, that one's not really grabbable. I mean, a sick airmail could grab it. Let's see what happens. Heh, <laughs> not the right idea. But that bag's not really going to fall. Even if it's on the fast side, that bag's not going to fall. Um, the fast side's friendly. It's just where that bag was in the area. It's just, it ain't going to happen. So let's go slick side now. Slick side is very, very nice. Came in a little hot there tends to happen when I go from slow side carpet to slick side carpet. Um, just totally missed that one. That was better. It's just, you know, when I throw all slow side and then all slick side, it's get up there. See? Nice climb and drop. It's just what happens sometimes. Just my throw. Um, with higher view stuff. I have to adjust a little bit. You know, mid-game adjustments are almost easier to me than it is, uh, and all slow, all fast, and then swap it around. You know, it's, it is what it is, though. Probably throwing that a little higher than I need to, honestly. But ugh. I do like this slick side. Climbs up nicely, goes where he wants to. It goes where you want it to. See, just climbs right up, falls right in. Pretty hole friendly for a carpet style bag. But doesn't completely punish you if you just totally whiff like that. Thought that might drop back down and fall. It did not. The breeze feels amazing. Sorry if it's loud. It feels so good though because it's pretty toasty out. Gonna go slow side again here. Just trying to lay a block. Guess that's a nice miss block when I miss. And it goes in the hole. There's the block I was going for. Let's go slick side here and just push through it. Yeah, never mind. Let's air mail over it and then push through it. <laughs> Just barely too short. Now we can push through it. See? They do what you want them to. They're a nice, nice bag. Uh, my Qualm, as with some of the bags I review, is they're not ACL stamped. Uh, my other Qualm, I'm just, I'm not a huge carpet guy. I don't know why, because you'd think that with my speed range that I enjoy that carpet would be the way to go, but for me it's really not. It just gets a little too sticky with a lot of the places I play. Need something. There's the front board. Need something like synthetic ish or something like that. Get up. I don't know why I'm winging left. I felt it twice. Just. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, we're doing another down and back. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna blame the wind on that last one. Better. Totally blame the wind on that last one because it's it is blowing directly that way. Doesn't help my cause, but it feels oh so good when it's toasty outside. Let's do another quick down and back. That's the left, but it stayed as it should. Slick side here. Up and in, and go slick side again. Up and in. Let's try to see if the airmail can redeem itself. It did. That would have been like the perfect and one airmail, because that literally hit the back side of the hole and then fell back in. Totally used the entire hole on that one. And that's fine by me. As long as it goes in, whatever, right? The slow side got the wind blowing right in my face right now, but whatever. Go slick. Oh, get up. Yeah, it's, it's a bag that's not really grabbable. It's really not. It's, yeah, that's what you get for trying. 
I'm just gonna try against the low side and see what I can collect over here. Throw it hard, a lot of spin. Yeah, collected two of them. Not a terrible shot. So that is the Epix bag. Epic bags, not Epix bag. Epic bags, warrior guys. Uh, really nice bags. I like them quite a bit. Uh, if I was a carpet guy, I could see them finding a way into my rotation. I'm not, um, but they're a great bag for just practicing, you know, laying a block, laying certain shots, practicing air mill, stuff like that. I mean, it's not like they're going to go anywhere anytime soon because I really do enjoy them. The fast side is just money. Um, maybe I can learn how to throw some carpet sometime soon since I have so many carpet bags. So uh, anyway, that was a short and sweet on Epic Bags Warriors. If you guys like this one, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.